Thank you very much for today, Lauren. It was a pleasure to meet you and your family. Thank you very much for welcoming me. Oh my! I'm glad to meet you too because I've been wondering what kind of woman Mike chose to marry. By the way, do you really think you can make it as a wife in this family? Of course, I will do my best. Trying is a bit naive, isn't it? Perfection is expected in this house, you know? Like Mike's father, we are allowed nothing but perfection even in one household chore. For example, cleaning is not just a surface wipe, but also about cleaning behind the furniture and in every corner of the house. Cooking is not just about filling your stomach. It is a matter, of course, to prepare delicious and nutritionally balanced meals every day. On top of that, we have to pay attention to everything, from the choice of ingredients, to the way they are prepared, to how beautifully they are presented. Can you do that? Yes, I intend to. I will do the best I can. Mike has grown up eating my cooking all his life. He doesn't accept anything with bad taste. Let's see how far you can live up to this expectation. I'm ready for that. I'll do my best that Mike will like it. Of course you will! And you know, your family background is also important. What? Our family has a long history. And it's no exaggeration to say that we are a famous family, you know? So it's also important to know who your parents are. My father works for a company and my mother is a housewife. Hmm, a normal family. To be honest, I was hoping Mike would get a bride from a more prestigious family. But since he chose you, it can't be helped. I'm going to take my time to see if you can really be a part of this family. I understand. After you get married, I'll ask you to come and help me with my chores as my daughter-in-law. I'll have you show me if you can do it right to the smallest detail. You better be prepared for that. Yes, I understand. Anyway, do your best for Mike. That's your mission. If you're going to marry him half-heartedly, you better break off the engagement right now. I'm looking forward to seeing how much you can stand it. I am by no means half-hearted. Thank you for today. I look forward to seeing how much you can take. Hi, Kelly. I just need to make sure. Of course, you are ready for tomorrow, correct? Hi, Lauren. I'm sorry, but I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't heard anything specific. Huh? I told you to keep your schedule free for the family gathering, didn't I? Well, I never heard anything about that. Maybe you just forgot. Anyway, we have to start the preparation tomorrow morning. Be here by 5.30 a.m. What? Tomorrow? And 5.30 a.m.? That's too early. Shut up! Don't talk back to me. Relatives gathering is a must. You have to come. And... But there's no point in me going, because every time I go to a relative's gathering, you ignore me. While everyone else is talking happily, I'm treated like an invisible person. And it's like everyone knows that you don't like me. Your relatives don't know how to talk to me, and I sense that there is tension between us. What are you talking about? Aren't you misunderstanding something? Excuse me? Don't be so sullen over something as small as that. As for me, until I was approved as a wife, I wasn't even allowed to pass through my in-law's gate. Don't take it easy on yourself. That's why I don't like weak people like you. I hate you for that. You're really disgusting. I'm sorry, I'm just not sure I can. I'm always worried that I'm not living up to your expectations. I don't know how to treat everyone at family gatherings, and I get so nervous. What are you talking about? 
Anyway, you should come tomorrow. No matter how anxious you are, it's a problem you should overcome as a wife. You should fulfill your responsibility. Lauren, it's just as I thought. I don't think I can stand your attitude anymore. What are you saying all of a sudden? You're not a child. You're my son's wife. I'm having a good time with my relatives here. If you want to say something to me, at least say it directly in person. Are you really a grown woman for texting me like this? You want me to talk to you face to face? How dare you? You ignored me, pretended you don't see me and bumped into me. And even pushed me away in front of people. I know you ignore me and laugh at me every single time. If you don't stop with your attitude, I'll lose my patience. I'm running out of patience too. I really hope you get a divorce soon, you immature wife. I hate you so much. I will ignore you and torment you for the rest of my life. I'll fight back. I've run out of patience. I've endured your words and attitude all this time, but I can't take it anymore. I'm looking forward to that. I wonder if you're capable of such a thing. Hi, Mike. I'm sorry to bother you on a day like this, but I've had enough of your mother. What's wrong? Did she do something? I'll send you a screenshot of my text exchange with your mother so you can read it. I know you have tried to talk to her, but I've reached my limit. Hey, what the hell? This is crazy. When I told her to quit picking on you, she said she didn't mean to offend you or anything, but rather educating you to be a good wife. She also said it's not my place to tell her what to do. But look what she's been doing to you. I heard that she was harassing your sisters too, but I had no idea it was this bad. Yeah, my sisters were in trouble too because they were being ignored. She didn't ignore them like she did to me, but still. Unlike my sisters who are still students, she thinks I am neglecting my duties as a wife since I have a job. I have no idea what she's thinking. She's doing nothing but bullying you and your sisters. I can't believe my own mother is doing this. It's disgusting. I'm disappointed in my mother and I hate her. I'm running out of patience. If you let me, I'm going to have to do something about it. If I'm beaten, I'll do it back. I'm not just going to let this go. Oh, go ahead. Mom was always stubborn. She rarely changed her opinion. It may be tough, but you can do whatever you want. I'm okay with it. Okay, thanks. No matter how stubborn your mother is, I'll let her know how I feel. Kelly, what on earth are you thinking? Do you think you can get away with this? Give me a proper explanation. What is this about, Lauren? Is there something wrong? Don't play dumb with me. What were you thinking, skipping out on a family gathering? This is a precious time for family bonding that everyone looks forward to. How can you just skip it without my permission? Can't you see that your irresponsible attitude is causing trouble for everyone? I'm so stunned I can't even say anything. I didn't skip it. I was participating in the event. Oh, maybe you didn't notice because you were ignoring me. You were here? Don't lie to me. Listen up. A wife has to clean up after the gathering. What were you thinking leaving without cleaning up? You're a useless wife and you should know that. If I'm a useless wife, then there's no need for me to have respect for you. I've tried so hard to get your approval to be your daughter-in-law, but it's all in vain. It seems that I am worthless to you no matter what I do. So there's no reason for me to show you any more respect. What? I am no longer going to listen to you. You deserve to pay for what you have done. What you are doing is a violation of human rights and will not be tolerated. What are you talking about? 
I have the right to make all the decisions in the house. Don't think about anything else and just shut up and obey. Huh? You're still saying that? That's right. I am the mistress of this house and your mother-in-law. What I say is absolute. Young people these days are all soft and weak, unable to respect their superiors. If you had been born in my generation, you wouldn't have survived. I hate you, you know. But you know what? As a wife of this family, I am obligated to educate you. That's why I've been disciplining you even though I don't like it. But who the hell do you think you are? Who the hell do you think you are? What? Educate me. What you're doing is not educating, it's bullying. It's the same as the old workers bullying new workers by looking them down. I don't remember you educating me, so don't talk like that. What you're doing is neither discipline nor education, just vicious bullying. I will educate you so that you will understand that. You are the one who has to suffer. What did you say? How cheeky! That's why you're such a worthless wife. I really can't believe that an immature person like you would talk to me like that. I don't know what you think you're doing, but you have no right. You're going to educate me? I would like you to keep your cheap joke to yourself. Kelly, call Mike now. I need to get in touch with him as soon as possible. I have something important to tell him. I don't want to. Why don't you contact him yourself? I'm tired of you always telling me what to do and treating me like I'm your slave. If you have something to tell him, please contact him directly yourself. I am not going to do it for you. I'm having trouble getting through to him. It's not just Mike. I can't get in touch with all my relatives. No matter how many times I text them or call them, I can't even get a read, and they don't answer the phone. That's because they've blocked you, so they can't see your text messages. What? Blocked? What are you talking about? I'm saying every single person in your family blocked you. In fact, I just contacted your husband and he told me to tell you this. Just as you ignored Kelly, we have decided to ignore you. That's the message from your husband to you. That's bullshit. He would never say such a thing. There must be some mistake. He's not the kind of person who would do such a thing. Maybe you're mistaken with something else. If you don't believe me, be my guest. Either way, it doesn't change the fact that you are blocked. Oh, you're the one who blew the whistle. You're such a scumbag messing around with my relatives. Do you even know what you're saying? Well, let me make this clear. It is true that you are my mother-in-law. But who said that a mother-in-law's words are absolute? This is 2024, you know. How long are you going to live in the past? You won't survive in this era with your outdated way of thinking. Don't lecture me. Just get Mike. He needs to know the truth. It is you who needs to know the truth, don't you think? You know, people don't usually block their own relatives. The fact they all blocked you means they all hate you. What? You didn't just bully me, but you also bullied my sisters. And you had several arguments with your son, didn't you? They are all fed up with you. And they decided to ignore you and don't care about you anymore. Do you think anybody can respect you for being so arrogant? That's why they all blocked you. I didn't tell them to, but it was because of your daily behavior. I don't think you're mature enough to understand this, do you? To be honest... There's nothing respectful about you. Shut up. I only disciplined you because you were being cheeky. You have no right to complain about my discipline. I know you just over-exaggerated and got them on your side. Huh? I can't get anywhere by talking to you. Can I go now? I'm busy too. No matter what I say, you would never accept the truth and we can't understand each other. I can't afford to waste any more time. 
I'm going to leave now. Wait a minute. I'm not done talking. I can't allow you to end the conversation on your own when I still have so much to say. Don't you run away from me. Listen to me and face the problem. Mike is not an insane son who blocks his mother. He has always taken good care of his parents. He would never be so disrespectful. Enough of your insults to my son. I will not allow you to speak ill of Mike any longer. Stop saying such ridiculous things. I'm the insane son who blocks his own mother. I know how much you don't want to believe me, but this is real. I had to do this to protect my feelings and my new family. Mike! Oh, thank God. I finally got a hold of you. What on earth is wrong with you? You are being deceived. Please look at the reality. It's you who needs to look at the reality. I'm really angry with you. If you don't apologize faithfully, I'll cut you off from my life and be adopted by Kelly's parents. Oh no! How dare you say that to me? Besides, you're misunderstanding something. Misunderstanding? It's true that you bullied Kelly. Stop trying to justify your actions. Do you know how much she has endured and how much she has suffered? Huh? It's not like that. That wife was bullying me, so I just did a little back. It's just a little discipline. I just wanted her to be a good wife for you. I just hit her a little harder so she would be better. What did you say? I didn't mean to bully her. I was just trying to help her. I did it for her sake. Of course I don't like her, but that's different. I was just trying to discipline her. Don't be ridiculous. That's enough. Huh? Mom, really, you turned out to be a total scumbag. I used to be so proud of you, seeing you work so hard for the family. But now you're like a different person than you used to be. I'm really disappointed in you. Whenever you say terrible things to Kelly or ignore her, I get angry. What? Why do you say such terrible things? Mom, I was bullied in middle school. Bullied? That's the first I've ever heard of that. I didn't tell you. I didn't want you to worry. But the bullying caused me a lot of pain. I finally decided to talk to my teacher about it. But the guy who was bullying me said I was just teasing him a little. Or I was just playing. Well, what a bunch of jerks. How could they be so insensitive? Yes, he was disgusting. He makes fun of people with that smirk on his face. I'm not going to forgive him. And now, you're just like him. Huh? You never apologize and always make excuses. You say it's not your fault. It's their fault. I can't help but feel really bad. You're a jerk too. Just the thought of you being my mother makes me want to vomit. Wait a minute. Bullying and discipline are two different things. That's bullying. It's not discipline. It's really disgusting that you don't even know that. You should be ashamed of yourself. It's not a mature thing to offend someone and not be able to apologize for it. Stop saying you didn't mean to hurt anyone. I have nothing more to say to you. If you had apologized, I wouldn't have even wanted to break off the relationship with you. But now, I really want you out of my life. Goodbye. Well, wait. Wait a minute. Please listen to me. I think there must be some misunderstanding. Let's just calm down and talk about it. Don't let it end like this, please. Kelly, I'm sorry. I don't think I'll be able to contact you all day today. I'm thinking of buying a new cell phone. It might be inconvenient today, but it's only for a day. Okay, take care. But didn't you just get a new phone? Actually, my mom keeps calling me. She even went to the trouble of changing her number. She's been trying to get in touch with me. My phone is ringing all the time. 
I can't even concentrate on my work. Oh my goodness, are you okay? I'm ignoring it, but it's really getting annoying. It's my own decision, but I can't help feeling guilty about cutting her off. I'm really pathetic. That's not true. That's a perfectly normal reaction. A child cannot live without parents. That's why we feel strong discomfort to disobey our parents. That doesn't change even when we grow up. It's also imprinted in our minds that we should value our parents. It is natural that you're feeling this way. Thank you for saying that. It makes me feel a little better to hear you say that. I'm the one who should thank you, but stress is not good. So, when this is over, why don't we go on a trip? What? You know, we don't travel much, do we? I know it's inappropriate to say this now, but... I just thought it would be nice to have something positive to look forward to. Something that would take our minds off things. I'm sorry. I guess it's not the best timing. Well, once I get settled, I'd like to go. Traveling? I'll look forward to it. I'm sure the time I spend with you will be the most therapeutic. I'll try to get a lot of things done before then so I can truly enjoy it. Yeah, let's go. It may take a little time, but let's rest our minds, eat some good food, and see some nice scenery. Please, please let me talk to Mike. I know he's there. Why are you ignoring me? I'm his mother. I never thought I'd be treated like this. Lauren, I've told you repeatedly. He doesn't want to talk to you anymore. He doesn't want anything to do with you. And he is stressed out. Please leave him alone. You're the one making him stressed out. Then let me talk to my husband instead. He wrote the divorce papers and left the house. I asked my relatives about it, but as soon as they found out it was me, they hung up on me. They must really hate you. It's your fault. Everyone is on your side. I can't believe there is no one who feels sorry for me. It's your own fault. Are we done? We've been talking, but it's not going anywhere. Wait. I understand. I admit it. What? I'm sorry. I apologize, so please forgive me. Let's be friends from now on. What are you suddenly... I thought I wasn't very nice. That's why I said let's be friends from now on. I don't want to. What? I can't believe what you're saying. Besides, what you mean by friends would be ignoring me, not preparing meals, or verbally abusing and kicking me, right? I don't want that kind of relationship. Well, I won't do that anymore, I swear. Even if you really had changed, I cannot forgive you. Even if you apologize, my resentment for what you have done to me will not disappear. What should I do then? What should I do to make you forgive me? I want you to suffer. Huh? I want you to live alone and suffer for the rest of your life. I heard that you said that everything you did to me was discipline. That's what you said, right? You really thought you had been educating me, didn't you? I'm surprised that you could think that was discipline. I think it is already a difference in values between us. You had been treated the same way, right? Yes, I have. When I was your age, they wouldn't even let me in the house. They told me I had to do all the chores and everything else to become a member of the family. After all that, I was finally accepted as a family. I thought you should do a little work too instead of being so spoiled. I feel sorry for the situation you were in, but that's no reason to be a wife beater. What you were doing was not discipline, just bullying. No one will help anyone like you, and you will pay for it. Oh no, that's not true. Then what about me? I've endured so much. I'm finally free from all the hard work. Why did I have to go through that? You may be a victim in a sense, and that's why I feel sorry for you. 
but I just can't forgive you for what you've done to me. Huh? I don't understand why you did such things to me which you didn't like. I wouldn't want anyone to go through the same thing. But you wanted me to suffer like you did, right? You said you hated me. Well, that's... Well... It's okay. I think I was someone you disliked. That is a matter of your feelings, and there is nothing I can do about it. I can't help you because I hate you. Please don't get involved in my life from now on. I will disappear as you wish. There is no need to ignore me anymore. Wait a minute. Kelly, I'm really sorry for everything I've done to you. I apologize from the bottom of my heart. Please forgive me. I can't even imagine living without Mike. Lauren, all the things you have done to me are unforgivable. Do you know how much the neglect and harassment hurt me? It's been hell. It is too convenient for you to apologize and ask me to forgive you now. I cannot accept your apology. I'm really sorry, Kelly. I will change from now on, so please forgive me and let me stay with Mike. Even if you say you will change, what you've done to me will never go away. You're the one who ruined our relationship. Please don't interfere with our happiness anymore. Kelly, please. Let me talk to Mike. Give me another chance. That's enough. Please get out of my life. Goodbye. After that, Lauren got the cold shoulder by all the relatives and got isolated. As her behavior came to light, her relatives began to avoid her and no one wanted to help her. She's now living a lonely life, with none of the happiness or anything that she used to have. She has been forced to start working miserable part-time jobs to make ends meet, and is struggling with the unfamiliarity of her work. Every day, she returns home exhausted. I heard that she comes home alone and cries. It is a little heartbreaking at times, but it is the result of her actions. We have returned to our peaceful lives. Mike and I are much happier in our new life without Lauren. Mike and I have made a strong commitment to continue to build a happy home together.